Welcome back, Aaron, Simon Says Farms. I'm not sure if you're here for the pigs or if you're here for just the normal Monday on the farm. We've got pig pen construction going on today, normal barn work going on today, and my wife is making some super fancy soap out of our goat milk. That we might even get in here, but there's the pig building. Hopefully the roof goes on today. Yeah, I don't know what else. Well, these are headphones, not weird ears. Hi, Moo. Time to head over to the other barn. This barn's done. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All done in there. I do have to run inside, work on a couple YouTube things, and then pig time. It's literally three o'clock. And I think the last time I talked to you guys, it was noon or 11. I'm finally getting on the pig house. Let's go take a look at it real quickly and then we'll talk about our next steps. So we decided to do cement raised. Um, it's cleaner. It's kind of safer because then they can't break out and roam around. This place is built like a fortress. It's pretty large for only four pigs. It's a 16 by 12. And we went with huge five inch posts that are go all the way down into the cement, like a foot, foot and a half. We've got two by sixes on the bottom and the top of the hog panels. We've got the hog panels nailed in to both the beams and then the panel will get nailed into the two by six. All the posts are wrapped with metal so the pigs can't chew it. We've got the roof. They're gonna have a roof structure across the whole thing. They'll still get sun. They'll get sun in the morning, they'll get sun in the evening, but they won't get sunburned. The back half of the roof is gonna be sloped down steeper. The front half of the roof is not. We're gonna build a feeder probably on this side. We're not exactly sure where yet. And then today we hope to put in the waterer, the automatic water spigots. I'm so late in this project. I might just start working on the roof until Rob gets here and then we might start working on the water. Obviously, always, if you got any questions, put them in the comments below and we'll try to get to them. We get a lot of comments, a lot of questions, or come to one of our live Q and A's on our other channel, which I'll try to link up here and I'm not good at it. When I say I'll link things, I never do. So we finished up the waterer, but we are missing one piece. Take a look at what we built. I'll show you guys over here. See what we got? So we built a T system. We're gonna bring the water in through the bottom from a garden hose over that way. It's gonna come up here. We're gonna have a spigot here, which will have a roll of hose so we can spray it off, keep it nice and clean for the pigs. And then we've got two spigots, one coming this way and one going that way. Now we put in an extra piece of wood so we can attach this with the clamps, once I figure out what spigot I have to put at the bottom, not what spigot, what attachment I have to put at the bottom. I bought one that changed sizes, but it was wrong. This size for the garden hose, and this size for the bottom of that pipe. That's not right. So I gotta go back to the store and find that. You guys need to subscribe and follow along so you can watch us move on next to putting on the roof which is gonna be that stuff right there. There it is, corrugated plastic, big box uh, hardware store has it. It's gonna go right up on the roof, both sides, front and back. They're gonna be super cool and calm in there. It's gonna be a good setup. Like I said, hit the buttons down below and we'll see you next time.
This very rarely happens. I'm bringing the camera to night chores. We're on our way.